Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Fine, teacher. It's very um, difficult, but uh, I'm fine. Difficult? Why difficult? Yes. Mm, because uh, in this day, I have many, many work. A lot of work. A lot, a lot of, of work. work. And I work uh, with my son and tareas integradoras. Ah, the mm. projects, yeah. Yeah. Always is difficult, right? Because the homework yeah. is big. Yes. Mm. How old is your son? Uh, 10 years. Ah, okay. So in this moment, only in uh, fourth grade. Or yes. fifth grade, fourth grade. Fourth grade, fourth grade. Mm -hmm. I imagine. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, it's very common. The job of a mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. But... It it <laughs> uh -huh. uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Let's see. And everybody else, how is everybody? Everybody have a good weekend? I don't hear Harrison, Carlos, Julio, Celaya, Fatima. What happened? What happened? I'm tired, teacher. <laughs> I imagine it's always a typical on Monday, the first day back, the people, I know, I, I need more time to relax. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our small groups. And the same that I was doing with Carla is necessary in our groups. In our groups, we are going to make uh, questions about weekend activities, making past tense, asking follow-up questions. What are the follow-up questions? For example, uh, I continue asking. Carla said, oh, I did homework. Oh, uh, how old is your son? What homework did you do? What this is the idea for asking follow-up questions. So the idea is to practice making questions in the past and answering, okay? Remember, we have in the past tense, when you make a question, we use the auxiliary did. What did you do? Where did you go? Uh, things like this. If you make a question, for example, general information, how old is your son? What grade does he go to? What, uh, what do you do, right? But if you ask specifically for the yesterday or Saturday, ah, then it's going to be did. We are ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Let's make our groups then. Let's go. Carlos, you okay? Carlos, any questions? You have problems connecting?
Christopher, you're going to go to the group. We're going to talk about past tense. Ask WH questions. Daniel, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good, how was your, how was your weekend, Daniel? It's fine. What did you do? What did you do? Daniel, what did you do? Hello, hello. Can you can you hear me, Daniel? Do you listen? Hello. 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 Hola, hola. Uh -huh. Daniel. Hello, hello. I see. Okay. I was I was studying. I was I I. I was practice about Jesus too. 
About about what, Daniel? Jesus too. Jesus too. Yeah. What is Jesus too? What used to? I used to. Used, yes, yes, used to, used to. Okay. And do you remember used to, Daniel? Um. Uh, I have practiced. I have been practi uh, practicing. Your mm -hmm. uh, to your structure. Okay. And in, in, in the three form, in the three times. And negative and positive and interrogative with a WH question. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Y, y, ta y también he estado practicando esto los otros tiempos del used, used to. Okay. He estado viendo eso acerca del used to con with yes. uh -huh. verb con el to be. Okay. Eh, used to como un solía, used to como eh, estoy acostumbrándome y used to, used to como eh, ya me acostumbré. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right. So you listen to Daniel. He was practicing the used to, not only the past tense. This is the idea for today. Here we have Jansi. Can you please read the objective for today? Okay. Well, English conversational. Conversational. Skill, conversational skill with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form questions, statements, negative, and short answer with used to. Learn English phrase like what sport did you use to play when you were a kid? Did you use to collect things when you were a child? And what did you use to do for fun when you were a kid? Excellent. These are the things that we are going to practice. Like Daniel said, practice is not only the positive, practice the statements, the negative, and the questions. Oh. Okay, Daniel said that good idea. Okay, the used to is solia. That's one of the main reasons, right? And similar in the questions. Okay, how do we make the questions? Well, let's look at the examples that we have there. One more time. Let's look at the examples from the instructions. What are some of the examples? Ah, you see, did and then use, no D, correct, for questions. No D and the verb in present. Again, did no use, no D and the verb in present. The same, okay? This is the important, no D and the verb in present. Any questions about how to make the questions? Mr. Uh, use to is like us, um, did, um, Auxiliary. Uh, uh, yes, yes. In the idea that is is an auxiliary for the past is correct, but the difference is that used to is an auxiliary for the past, but the idea is now no. So when you say I used to is before yes and now no. This is the difference with used to. So when you say, oh, did you used to work? Did you used to study? Or this is before, yes, and now no. Teacher? Yes? For example, uh, we used, used to, to express things that we were not just accustomed, but for example, that we could have the ability to do. We can say that. Uh, for example, when we were in kindergarten, because we are not going to be in kindergarten anymore, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes, exactly. Because before, yes, you were in kindergarten. Now, no. So I used to, I used to go to kindergarten. I used to color with crayons, mm -hmm. right? The idea is now, no. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. Here we have a little bit of information on how to make the questions and the answers correctly. Let's watch the small video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes, I know questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as, what sports did you use to play when you were a child? Did you use to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you used to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're gonna do in this class is we're gonna learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on creating yes, I know questions as the one that I'm circling there. Did you use to collect things? That's a yes or no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also we're gonna learn how to create those WH questions with used to. Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're gonna- Okay, so let's look at that structure because the guy talks very slowly. What is the structure is the red is the WH word, right? WH can be what, where, when, how, different questions. But for yes, no questions, we begin with the orange, did. Did plus the subject, right? For example, did you, did he, did she, did they? And then look, used to, no D, no D. Did you used to and the verb in present and the complement, okay? So as some examples, did you used to collect things? That's one. Did you used to listen to rock? Okay. Uh, let me go back. In high school. There we go. Okay. And then, what about, mister, what about we play? Did you play? Did you? you did you, you play sports? To? And yes, you can Before say. Oh, no. Yes, yes, you, you can use. That's why here. And we'll borrow the excuse. It's always with used to. For example, what sports did you use to play? Did you used to play sports? Mm -hmm. Do you see? What sports did you used to play is the correct game if you want to be specific. What video games did you use to? and then you can have, or what food? What food did you use to, okay? And you can use positive or negative. It's not only positive, okay? So for example, I can say, que comida, que comida no te gustaba? Que comida ah, odiabas o no hacías? Ah, what food did you use to hate? What food did you use to avoid? What food did you, and you can make in different forms. Mm -hmm. Or I can use the negative. So you can use positive or negative ideas for the question. Okay. So, so. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah, Pero Miguel. Cuando, se, cuando es una, una, una pregunta eh, positiva, este, en, en ese caso se le agrega ED al used to, right? No. No. No, it's for example, do you use to, or is it only, you don't have to add the D at the use. No, no, no. In the chat, you can see, in the chat, only, only use to, no D. In the answer, oh, okay. in the answer, yes. In the answer, ah, I use to, the answer. Okay. In the question, no, because we have the auxiliary mm. did. Never, and never, 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 okay. never, 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 because okay. always auxiliary did the verb normal. Okay. And use without D, right? Use without D, exactly. Uh -huh. Only in the answer is with D. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, we can make this kind of, of questions 
with things that uh, before no, but now yes. For yes, example, also. Mm -hmm. So, for example, what food didn't you used to eat? What food didn't you used to eat before no and now yes? I put in the chat so that you can see the example. What food didn't you used to eat? And the structure is the same. Before no is going to be only change for did for didn't. What? Okay. And then you can have uh, what games, for example, what sports, what if you want to be specific, didn't you used to play, for example. Another example, what games didn't you used to play? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, so let's try together. Let's check to make sure that everybody understands. Here we are in activity 1.14, 1.14. Which Look at the questions. Which question is correct? Number one, number two, or number three? Number two. Number two. Number two. Why number two? Because it's oh, using see. the auxiliary verb is did, and the main verb no, is the present. Correct. Correct. Use did, and the main verb is in present. Uh huh. Good. What about number two? Which one is correct? The one. Number one. Number one. Okay, good. Number yes. three. Okay, choose the best question to match the answer. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. What is the question for this answer? One. Number Fierce. one. Number, number, number one. three. Number one. Number one. Number, number one. three. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number, number one. one. I think that number one. Okay. All right. Good. And number four, how do we complete the question? Number two. Number two. Yes. Number two. Yeah, number two. Okay. Yeah, number Very two. Very good. Exactly. Number two. Number one. Correct. Remember, why is correct these answers? Because did and used to in present, did and used to in present, always mm -hmm. in present, okay? Now we're going to practice the speaking. We're going to make the two types of questions. We're going to make WH questions, what, where, when, okay? And we're going to make yes, no questions. As an example with Eugenia, I can say with Eugenia, Eugenia, where, where did you used to go on vacation? Ah, Ohenia understand before when she was a child and now no. Ohenia, where did you used to go as a child? Uh, I used to go to La Ventana and Ventana. it's a beach in Usulutan. Ah, okay, okay. Huh. Like el bar. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but hey, it's on Demole. All right. <laughs> and now my yes, no questions. The yes, no questions only begin with did. For example, did or didn't. I can say, Eugenia, did you used to go to El Cuco? No, I didn't. Uh-huh. Or I can say, did you used to go to La Ventana? Yes, I did. This is the difference. If the answer is yes, yes, I did. If the answer is no, no, I didn't. Or the WH questions. It's okay or more examples? More examples, please. More excellent. Thank you, Cecilia, for staying. Thank you, okay, Cecilia. I have a question. Okay. In the, in the forms present, we cannot use, verdad? Because no. it's auxiliary for the past. Correct. 
Uh, correct. Is the auxiliary for the past used to is so in the past in the present. Always is in the past. Always is in the past. Lisette, I'm going to ask Lisette. Lisette, did you used to have a toxic boyfriend? Look, look at Lisette's face. Huh, Lisette. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. No te hagas. Bien, me escuchas. Lisette, did you used to have a toxic boyfriend? Yes or no, Lisette? Si es contigo, te escuchamos. Solo tenés que abrir la boca, hablar. Ah, no. Me, 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 mordiendo los labios, viendo. Lisette, Lisette, decí hola. Hola, Lisette. Te escuchamos. Creo que no nos escucha. Lisette, no nos escuchas. Ok, Lisette has some problems. I, I, ahí está escuchando el toxic boyfriend, todavía no la deja salir. Ok, ok, don't worry, it's ok, Lisa, it's ok, Lisa. Vamos a ver con Yancy, Yancy, Yvette. Yancy, Yvette, did you used to have a toxic boyfriend? No, I didn't. Excellent. <laughs> uh -huh. Excellent, Yancy. It's my husband now. His husband, oh, there you go. Y así de fácil, all right. Ok. Profe, otra, otra pregunta. Yes. Mire, ¿verdad que en español no es necesario decir acostumbraste a tener un novio tóxico, sino que podríamos decir tenías un novio tóxico? Es que son diferentes, acostumbrado y, y tenías. Ajá. Igual que en inglés, son diferentes. Tenías sería had. Ajá, uh -huh, I had. Y acostumbrado Or, no, siempre se Ajá, uh -huh. or I, I used to have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct. I used to. So, Leah, I used to. Uh -huh. Es, so, Leah, o oh, oh, antes tenías. Exacto. Okay. But, but that yes. is a, a short, short answer, right? Correct. Because the question, uh, yes, no. But, but, but I, what I, about the, what about the, the, the uh, complete answer uh, answer for the, the question that you already make uh, uh, another student, uh, for example, oh, the talking for about the toxic boyfriend. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, what about I, the, this this question? Uh, she answered you, uh, no, I didn't. But okay. uh, it does a short, short, short answer, right? Correct. Or in the long answer is the same. In the long answer is only no, uh, only we put I didn't used to have used to used a to have toxic boyfriend. Uh, I didn't used to have. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Uh, or in the positive, I used to have. I used to have a toxic boyfriend. For example, the long answer. Okay. The positive or the negative? Let's try one more example. Lourdes Gonzalez, make a question to Gabriela. Lourdes Gonzalez, make a question to Gabriela. Ya sabía. Ya también. ¿Por qué no te enciende la cámara? No me he Ajá. Y sí. Ajá. Sí, todos sabemos. Y ya es el último del día. Hasta me chuda, te espero verte. Go ahead, Lourdes. Okay, uh, what um, what sport uh, did you use? Did you use to? Mm. No, no, no. What? Le faltó el verbo. Le faltó el verbo. Used to solo es el auxiliar. Acuérdense, siempre tienen que ir el verbo. What sport did you use to? Um, play. Practice. Or play. Excelente. Porque acuérdense, son diferentes. Practice, play, watch. O sea, solo porque uno asume, ah, jugaba, pero en tu mente, pero, ¿y qué tal para ver o para jugar? Ah, es diferente. Siempre tiene que ir el verbo. One more time, one more time, Lourdes. Ok. What sport 
did you use to practice? Okay. Uh, no, I didn't use to practice. Ah, ahí no está correcto. Porque Lourdes no te preguntó una pregunta de si no. No te preguntó, did you use to practice a sport? Te preguntó, what sport? What sport did you use to practice? Entonces, tiene que dar la oración. I used to practice. Y lo que es. Pero y si no, pra y si no practico. Exacto. Mm. ¿Cómo decimos si nunca practicaste? Si no practicaste. Ahí está en el chat. ¿Cómo puede decir ella si no lo hacía? I didn't sport. use to practice any sport. I didn't correcto. Practice. Correcto. I didn't. Mm. Ahí está en el chat. I didn't use to y lo que le preguntaron, I didn't use to, en este caso, I didn't use to practice any sports. O sin any, ¿verdad? I didn't use to practice sports. ¿Está bien así, Gaby? Yes. Excellent. You can, say, you can say, I never used to. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. All right. Cecilia, ¿ya está un poco mejor? ¿Te quedó claro? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Are you welcome? Okay. Sure. Yes. And we also can answer in, in, in yes, no question. Yes, I used to, or or always we have to say yes, I did. No, no, no. You can say yes, I used to. Okay. For example, uh, for example, uh, did you used to drink alcohol? Yes, I used to, but not finish, not, not stop. Yes. I used to drink a drink. lot of alcohol. Yes, I used to drink a little alcohol. It's necessary the sentence, not only just I used to. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if I say, yes, uh, I did. It's correct. We can, we can, we finish in just with saying, yes, I did. Or correct. I have to, to answer all. No, no, it's correct. Uh, oh. it's, it's correct, yes, I did. But let me, let me explain, very good, Laura. A diferencia que el español es mal visto que solo contestes sí o no. Siempre asumen que la gente le va a preguntar por qué. Porque es parte de la cultura en inglés. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tal tu fin de semana? ¿Estuvo bien? En inglés, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué hiciste? No, o sea, asumen, no déjenlo solo allí. Cuando ustedes dicen, how was your weekend? Good. Ajá, uh -huh. ya la otra persona hasta se siente ofendido, pues, y que no, o sea, te tengo que preguntar de qué hiciste, dónde fuiste, con quién. Ya en inglés es asumido que continúas una conversación, no que contestas una pregunta. Es la diferente, diferencia entre tener una conversación y contestar una pregunta. Right? Entonces, acuérdense que siempre asumen que la gente le va a decir por qué, y así se le va a hacer más fácil tener una conversación y responder larga, respuestas largas. Are we ready? Yes. 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 yes? yes. Sure. Okay. Remember the two types, the two types. WH, what, where, when, who, how, WH, and yes or no, the did, did you use to? All right, let's do it.
Okay, any questions? Any difficulty? Yes, I I want to. <laughs> my partner asked me, um, "What beach do you visit um, when I was a child?" And I say, "My father, he used to take us." Is correct? Is correct. The is, um, Costa del Sol beach. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. yes, yes. And the question, correct also the question, uh, what beach did you used to visit when you were a child? Correct. Okay. Good. Thanks. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other questions? No. No. It's good. It's clear. Yes. Yes. All right, excellent. Y con eso finalizamos la, la sección 1, sección 1 completado entonces, y por lo visto sin dudas, puro agua cristal, cristalina del Caribe, todo claro como eso, así que excellent. All right. Okay. Good. Now let's go to section 2. Section 2. Let's take a look. Today we begin section 2. All right, Carla, can you please read the objective? Okay, teacher. So, um, learn how to describe problems in English using count and non count nouns. By the end of this class, you learn how to describe problems in a city using phrase, phrases like too many, too much, less, figure, enough and more. You also learn about common non common nouns, including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, eh, etc. ¿Cómo se dice? Etc. ETC. <laughs> <laughs> and understand how to tell if a noun is common or non common And English oral comprehension, audio exercise is included. Good, so we're going to learn a little bit about how to describe problems and count and non-count. Alguien se acuerda que es count and non-count? Do you remember what is count and non-count? Yes. You can count, non-count. Non -count. Like. Contables y no contables. Okay, okay. Eh, el dinero, contable o no contable? Contable. No contable. Count. Okay, okay. When, when it's a little? Yes. Ok, ok. Depend of. Mm -hmm. oh, excelente, excelente. Todos están equivocados, pero qué bueno que todos vamos en la misma página. No, no, no. Remember, no, no. remember you can call o sea, the coins, you can call no. the bills, but the money in general, you can... It's uncount. It's uncountable. Correct. It's uncountable. Un uncount. Me gusta como todos cambian rapidito. Y no, 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 pero it's uncounted. Eso, eso. The uncounted. <laughs> yes. Dale. Acuérdense un truco a diferencia del español. En inglés, el truco es que si hay un plural y un singular, es contable. Si la palabra solo existe en una forma, es no contable or uncountable. Ok, por ejemplo, en inglés, veo noticias, yo veo noticias, news, pero como solo hay una forma de escribirlo, es non-count, es uncountable. Like a, a cup of coffee, teacher. Correct. A cup of coffee is a cup. Uh, countable, but uncountable. coffee is uncountable. Correct, because the cup, you can count, one cup, two cups, yes. three cups. But the coffee, you cannot count. This is uncountable. That's the idea. Okay. In English, is singular and plural. But we're going to watch a small video, some ideas from the video. Let's see, from unit two, let's watch the small video of count and non-count. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. 
You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything these. Okay. Aquí lo voy a explicar yo, que es más fácil. Okay. Si se fijan, the count lleva S. Ah, cars, lines, buses, non-count. La mayoría de non-count no lleva S, pero no es de singular plural. Es que la palabra no existe en plural. No puedo decir traffics. No puedo decir pollutions. No puedo decir public transportations. No puedo decir parkings. Solo puedo decir una forma. Si solo puedo decir una forma es non-count noun. Is that okay? It's okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Buses like we see on the exam. Y si se fijan, let's look. We use, for example, with count, too many. With non count, too much. With count, fewer. With non count, less. Y lo otro sí es igual, more and more. Pero el último no. Non count, vamos a usar isn't. Count, vamos a usar aren't or are. Ok. Entonces, count, plural. Non count, singular form. Example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily. And therefore, we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice. Okay. Él le está dando palabra por palabra. Es, es imposible acordarte palabra por palabra, pero en general es fácil. Líquidos, granos y gases son non-count. Nuevamente, líquidos granos y gases. ¿A qué me refiero con líquidos? Milk, coffee, chocolate, gasoline, petroleum, water, 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 water exacto. Todos, son todos esos, non-count. ¿A qué me refiero con granos? Spaghetti, pasta, rice, chow mein, todo eso, granos, non-count. Y gases, ¿a qué me refiero con gases? Oxygen, yeah. nitrogen, Helium, the gases, air, non count. It's okay? okay. Okay. In general, the three topics grains, gases, okay, and liquids, non count. Porque es imposible que se van a acordar de cada palabra, pero más fácil acordarse esos categorías. Okay. Meat flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do no not S. have a plural form. No S. That's the key. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city and remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city for example there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars and we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas so we're going to listen to that and i will have you answer a couple of questions about that The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, 
But I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're as Okay. Miren como hizo la pregunta. Is there y are there? ¿Cuándo va a utilizar alguien is there y cuándo va alguien va a usar are there en las preguntas? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Miren los ejemplos. Is there with a singular or, or uncountable? Y are there with a countable? Correct. Correct. Ah, si no están seguro, anótenlo. Yo. Singular or uncountable is there. Countable or plural are there. Okay? This is the difference. Is there and are there? It's okay? Answering oh. these questions that I just posted. Is there uncountable? No, no. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Or, is, there, is, there, is there is uncountable. Uncountable. Correct. Are there countable? Are there countable? I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me. Okay. Okay. Let's have. Vamos a hacer trabajo con el parejo y vamos a crear tres y tres. Tres preguntas con nuestros compañeros de uncountable, o sea, is there, y tres preguntas con are there. Solo que el hecho de que le pongan singular no significa que es countable, ¿verdad? Tiene la palabra no puede existir con plural. Eso lo que lo hace uncountable. Uncountable son palabras que no tienen el plural. It's okay. We're going to make three questions with is there and three questions with are there. Is there and are there. Six questions with our partners, three and three. We ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Person, you okay? Any questions?
Ok. Let's listen to those questions. A ver qué, qué sacaron con su compañero. Let's listen to the questions. I have a question. Yes, Carla. In that case, is there a dust is a polvo? That's correct. Ok. Yo recuerdo que usted dijo que eh, much and less con uncountable. In many and fewer and con nouns. Ok. In that case, uh, it's correct uh, to say, is there a uh, much dust in your city or is there many dust in your city? No, no, is there much dust? Much, much. but is uh, uncountable. Correct. Okay. Much is uncountable. Mm -hmm. Y normalmente vas a usar la frase, is there too much? Is there too is there much too? dust? Okay. Is, is there too? too? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is there too much dust in your city? Correct. That is the correct okay. way. Exacto. Exacto. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. I have a question. Okay. Uh, much, are, are we going to use much uh, for the uncountable and many for the countable? Or no? Yes. Yes, correct. Uh, Much okay. for the uncountable, many for the countable. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So remember, what is the important? The important is that two things. One, complete unit one, complete section one in the platform. And two, review, countable and uncountable, okay? And then we practice more tomorrow to use much, many, fewer, less. We use correctly tomorrow in questions and answer. Entonces, mañana, ¿qué vamos a tener? El Salvador tiene mucho problema. Vamos a describirlos. Describe problems y soluciones. Describe problems and solutions, okay? Okay. Great teacher. Okay. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I appreciate it. And I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow see you everyone. Guys. Bye. 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 Take care. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Okay. A ver si for te la contesto not, rapidito porque si no, yo tengo otra clase. Countable, we can use measurement. Yes, for countable? For Non-countable, for example, cup, tablespoon. They can, you, you are not using, uh, you are counting the tablespoons. Tablespoon is a count. A cup is a count. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the, the product is uncountable. For uh -huh, example, yeah. the milk, the chocolate, the juice, this is uncountable, but the cup? Cup is a cup. Oh, you, yes, yes, yes. It, it's my question for water, for uh, uh, coffee. Yes. yes, yes, yes. You can say a cup of coffee, two cups oh, of okay. coffee, three cups. Yes, okay. you can use. Okay, okay mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.